We certainly could have gotten, like, better relics in Act 1 and the like, but I don't feel like our Act 1 was that bad. Just everything that happened after we killed Hexaghost was pretty abysmal. Mm. Do I think the transition from Act 1 to Act 2 is harder than Act 2 to Act 3? The way I think about it is that somewhere around halfway through Act 2, your deck needs to have some sort of um, strong thing that it does. That just has to come together to survive the difficult stuff in Act 2 and the Act 2 boss. And so usually when you go into Act 3, if you survived Act 2, your deck already does something strong. And so it's going to be able to do Act 3 as well pretty well by just continuing to do that strong thing better and better. But there are definitely a lot of runs where you die going into Act 2 because your deck like had Strike Plus in it in Act 1, or cards like Strike Plus, and that was enough to win Act 1. But then they don't do enough in Act 2. Excuse me. Excuse me. Should we choose a colorless card to obtain? This is like the new option. And this one's not great here. This one doesn't seem good at all. And this one is like whatever. This might be good, right? Maybe. Hey, you're welcome, Faven. You're very welcome. I guess we can take Swift Strike, I don't know. Is that good? Like, did we do a good thing there? I've never had a Swift Strike before, I don't think. Like, not deliberately. Alright. I like my orange hoodie, thank you. It's actually burgundy. I'm shitting with you. Um, it's very comfy. Remember that time I took Slice? Yes, I have definitely taken Slice before. Slice deals an entire one damage less, though, than Swift Strike. See, Slice wouldn't have killed this turn. It would have taken three damage. Huge difference. I'm going to take the Quick Slash. With a Swift Strike, we're a little bit more inclined toward like Predator and Quick Slash until we get to a point where we're comfortably killing stuff in Act 1. How good would I say these starting relics are? Ironclad and Silent have very good starting relics throughout the entire game. Um, Defect's starter relic is front-loaded damage. So it's not necessarily super incredible later in the game. But the thing is that on floor one, the thing your deck needs most is more front-loaded damage. So you still generally don't really want to trade your defect starter relic because you're taking front-loaded damage out of your deck at the time of the run where front-loaded damage is the best it's ever going to be. Well, in turn. Tesla Rod! Thank you for the 27 months subbed on Bomoshuri as well. Watch your relic. Um, I don't feel like I should make claims about what is or isn't good on Watcher. I'm pretty sure the card pool is just straight up different from the last time I played it, so there's that. And then I just, I don't know, I'm still struggling with the Watcher a bit. I have certainly been trying to trade Relic on Watcher because it doesn't seem like she needs the energy, but who could say what it's going to be like later? Expertise will get us there. Am I playing Watcher today? We'll see. Fucking Dagger is great. This thing, the Paper Crane, sort of an okay relic as well. We know this isn't 
Gremlin knob, but probably sentries or Lagavulin can kill us just as well at the moment anyway. We took some extra damage in the last elite fight. I think it's a large paper crane or a small one. What? Would a paper crane with a wingspan of like three inches be the cutoff for large? Is that where you, I don't know how big a big paper crane is. Duplication potion. We can play something twice. Like a noxious fumes maybe for a fight where we really want to poison everything. Juzu bracelet. Yay. Ish. Great to be back, Midnight Heart. You're liking the Watcher better now that some updates have happened, but you have to say the fact she doesn't really scale makes you not that excited. That's my general struggle playing the Watcher too, is I just don't know. Don't know how to make the deck stronger as the fight goes on. I like Vajra here. I don't think I want to buy a second Noxious Fumes right now. I guess I could. I like Vajra for like the Cloak and Dagger Swift Strike, Click Slash, Neutralize the Four Strikes. It's like having half a Strength Potion in every fight. How's that for a Sage Observation? Well, you see, my Strength has increased by one, which is like half of a Strength Potion in every fight. I'm going to trust myself on 16 health against this uh, elite. Got good potions. Gonna take the backstab to help. So 17 damage twice. our friend the shovel. I actually saw the shovel at TwitchCon, believe it or not. It was good to catch up. Drinks flex potion uses zero energy on attacks. Sometimes it's just like that. Okay. 1v1 me. Let's see who wins. Piyattle, thanks for the six months. Agabomo show to you as well. Hey, a girl with a fat beard. I have some Slay the Spire for you. As desired. People call me Steve or Jorbs. Some people call me Steven. Other people called me Jorbs. I don't think anybody called me Steve. Ugly smooth stone? Cool. We got a leg sweep. Leg sweep's a pretty darn fine card. I want to upgrade. Oh, I want to upgrade. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade. I don't know if you can stop me. Recall? Would have been good. We're just dead turn two. That would be awkward. Uh definitely not dead.
All right. Somebody has called me Steve Jorbs in my life, possibly. I can play Neutralize. I can play a Shiv for one health. It costs me one health to play a Shiv, but then I don't have to draw it again. I'm okay with that. Thank God that was Quick Strike and not Slice. Swift Strike, yes. But yes, you're right. Slice would not have been enough there. I think I could have just blocked with Leg Sweep as well, though. This is an unlucky hand. I am a Steven with a PH. Call me Jorbidaya. Dolphin wasn't at TwitchCon. Which is acceptable, but I can say with some confidence that Dolphin is the only person in the entire world who calls me Jorbidaya, so. Zavel! Thanks for the Twitch Prime, Ogbomushu, to you as well. I like this hand next turn. Let's just draw this hand next turn and not play the quick slash. Could go to one to play the strike for seven damage. I don't. I'm not sure that I'm into that. goal this turn is to not split the Guardian so that we have more time for poison. Actually, is it? No, it isn't. We just play all of our attacks because we drew so, so many of them. Yeah, this is actually better because of us drawing every single attack. It just wins. Just wins. Should we take Malaise instead of Wraith Form because it's more interesting? Or shall we just take Wraith Form? You know, I have a Paper Crane. It's, it's ever so slightly plausible that Malaise is actually better than Wraith Form here because of Paper Crane. Like, it's a bit of a stretch, but maybe. It's a bit of a stretch. My thoughts on the intangible change. I haven't played with it yet, but it's probably good. I don't, I mean, I haven't played with it yet, <laughs> so. Maybe moving to Seattle sometime soon. Is it a good place to live? It's a good place to be a counselor, Sinister Hologram. <laughs> For a lot of people who sit at desks all day in high stress software jobs and struggle with their social lives. <laughs> um, it's an okay place to be. It's a really good place to be when it's summer and not as good a place to be when it's not summer. What is intangible now? Oh, it still says reduce all damage taken and HP lost to one. They changed it though, right? This is the latest patch. The tooltip just isn't right. I believe it just reduces attack damage now. Did they change it back again? I'm confused. Oh, it was reverted. Okay. Maybe it was reverted because it was like super confusing and buggy. I would sort of understand that. I'm going to take my ways over it. Uh, Choker's weird because we did the random two cards upgrade and got the Cloak and Dagger. And Cloak and Dagger really, really doesn't want to be in the same 
deck is Velvet Choker. At least not Cloak and Dagger Plus. This deck doesn't really win the run with a Busted Crown at the moment, though. I don't think. We have three weak sources and a Paper Crane and a Noxious Fumes. Maybe that's enough. Silence Broken. Maybe that's enough. Bell? I think we want Energy, but we could take Calling Bell, I guess. Do I sit at a desk all day and struggle with my social life? Maybe. I feel socially satiated. Is that a word? S saturated? Sated? Sated. I think sated is the word. I think I went halfway between sated and saturated. I feel socially saturated by Twitch chat. Satisfied is a word. There are a lot of words that are just the same word, but they changed the last, like, seven letters, huh? Like, all of those are just the same thing. It's fucking, like... Say it a normal way, come on. Look, Clasp only gives us one block for each card in hand at the end of turn. Feels bad. Still, this is better than an energy, I think. Like, terrific and terrible, they are the same word. Yep. They used to be the same word. Once upon a time. I remember it well. Saturday, also exactly the same thing. Completely right. Is Cloak Clasp better than a fourth energy? Probably. How has Mini Jorbs been doing? Mini Jorbs is doing okay. I was talking to a super old friend of mine. More of an acquaintance from the poker days. He was talking about how he could use VR, like augmented reality, to create me a wizard's familiar, which hung out on my stream with me, and could like fly around my stream and maybe make some noises or something like that. Like chat could type exclamation mark dig and then like the wizard familiar bird would cacaw or something like that. And I was like, I already, I already have that. It's just mini jorbs. Mini jorbs just hangs out on my stream. Most people don't notice Mini Jorbs is here, but... He always is. Yeah, I think I probably do want Predator right now. a little bit late for Predator. I would have wanted it more earlier, but I'm pretty sure I still do. Caltrop seems good. Imagine having pay having to pay more than one energy to deal like hundreds and billions of damage. Give me the good one. Nellery's Codex might be the good one. The most boring of them. Can you give Curse of the Bell to the Spirit Totem event? Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that interaction before. Vlai! Thank you very much for the five months sub. Ogbo Mosho to you as well. Corpse Explosion. Ugh. 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 Unfortunate. That card's pretty good. Oh well. All of the powers that we would see in the library here are going to be automatically upgraded. Or we could take the heal. Iron Chef USA, thanks for the three months. Long Bomusho to you as well. 
Then I have cats as my familiars anyway. I did see a controllable camera. Like, you get a Twitch extension, you get to point my camera around my room, make it follow my cats. Cats aren't even in here right now. I feel like there would be riots. What's between Blood Vial and Frozen Egg? Cloak Clasp gives us one block at the end of turn for every card we have in hand. I think the big thing is, like, I think I can beat the Elite just fine. It's just I probably have to rest at the campfire if I don't take the health now. Eh, I'll take the health now. There's some decent upgrades. This fight seems winnable, though. I'm... Not sure I will take more damage than the one damage I just took in this entire fight. for me. And beer? Like with an IE. I say all of those vowels slightly differently, but I can never rem <laughs> never remember how. <laughs> he jacked the black things with 14 months. <laughs> Bobo showed you as well. Is it buyer? You could say for sure. I would like uh, a red mask, please. Please do not kill me. Thank you. Be very careful, and I'm back. I don't want to have to ban anybody today. I'm in too good a mood. <laughs> but yes, like that. Lone Outlaw, thanks for the 19 months. Ogbomo show you as well. Hope you're having a great one. Beer, 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 bear, beer, bear, beer, beer, beer. <laughs> All right. I was around human beings for the entire weekend, so I had to like pretend to be normal, and now we're uh, finally out of that minefield. What a relief. Red mask, very nice. Don't care about that stuff very much. This act is going so well. Compared to the ironclad attempt attempt at Act 2 from last run. This is uh significantly better, I would say. Did anyone say Kaka at me? I had somebody yell Jorbs at me once, but I didn't get Kaka at now. Zip zoobity bop! Thanks for the nine months on Bomosho to you as well. Look at that, fighting the thieves got me enough gold to get a Tori, as well as the red mask. I will upgrade all of my strikes and defense? Absolutely. Abzo positively.
Does tiny chest affect ceramic fish? Why would it? Extra nine twice. Okay, we take one, yeah? Oh, do we take six? I think we actually take six. I think I... Uh, I have one less block than I was hoping for. If only there had been some way to know how much block I was generating that turn. Oh well. Not to be, I guess. Thanks for the 23 months. Akbomo show to you as well. Absolutely agree. Farnax, absolutely agree. One month away from two years there is strife. It's a long time. One chance gets likelier. The chance that is reduced is event. Stir Dine and Rook and Hat. Events are... There's a 100% chance that something happens every time you go to a question mark. And it's like the chance of a fight plus the chance of a relic. Something else happen? Plus the chance of a store, that's the third one. And then whatever is left is the chance of an event. So if you increase the chance of the other three things, you decrease the chances of getting an event. That could use more card draw. Generally true. Certainly true this time as well. Use some dexterity, maybe? And also maybe another noxious fumes? I guess we have a nil raise. I'm gonna rest because I'm a coward. Yep, gonna rest because I'm a coward. Alright. Probably didn't need to rest then. Fair enough. Uh, I'll just take the extra energy next turn, actually. Don't see that much reason why playing backstab is important. Yeah, death kitten. Hope your day at work was okay. 4, 11, 19. So we're taking one at the moment. I'll just take zero and um, get the extra energy again next turn. Again. Finally got fumes in play. So how has everybody else been? 
Talked about how I have been. What's Twitch chat been up to? You? Over the weekend, I've missed you all. Been up to no good. I imagine Twitch chat is always up to no good. You aged today? I already hear it. Got your master's degree in applied mathematics. That's pretty rad. HRT starts in two weeks. Exciting, Humph. Very exciting. You saw the rocket summer in New York City. Sick. Feeling ill? Sorry to hear that. Jaws being locked? Sorry to hear that. Not the best. In writing your first ever D&D character. Nice. You got laid off yesterday, so now you can watch Jorb's day streams. I'm sorry to hear that, but glad that you're uh, seeing the silver lining. Started your master's degree. So you got one person finishing theirs and another person starting. The grand cycle of life. Went to an MTG pre-release. Cool. Hey, cunning scone. Thanks for the eight months Agbomo show to you as well. It's exciting about your US trip pump. I'm trying to keep up with everything in chat here. You emerged blinking into the daylight when you realized every streamer you watched was at TwitchCon. Twitch does definitely get quieter during TwitchCon, doesn't it? It's definitely a thing. Hey Crimson Blur, how are you? More than one person starting a master's degree. Quit your job after six years and went back to university. It's exciting, super exciting. Do you feel like all of the like freshmen are very, 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 very tiny? When I went back to school, I definitely felt like all of the freshmen were very, 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 very tiny. Like, tinier than I thought they would be. Gaming Nightly thinks the 10 months. <laughs> They're all so small. I know, right? I know, right? I'm just gonna take this. It wins the fight, whatever. Take some damage, but yeah. A lot started, but only one finished. That is not a good ratio. Not a good ratio at all. The true point. Liquid Bronze seems great. Thousand Cuts Plus. Sure. Sure. Why not? It's already upgraded. The difficult thing is getting it in play, but I'm sure we'll find out some way to do that. This seems good with this, right? Those both seem like... We can't actually have four energy in like hallway fights. We can get a fourth energy for elite and boss combats. But I think that uh, runic pyramid's just better. Aren't people full size when they get into college? Maybe like height wise, but definitely not like waist size wise. I've noticed that my waist is still growing. Even now. With college several years behind me. Also, like your nose keeps growing forever and your ears. It's weird as all hell. That's true, right? I read that on the internet, so I'm pretty sure it's true. The internet has never lied to me before. I 
your hair has stopped growing and stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Rest in peace. But you know, there's something I find very beautiful and special about the feeling of a like fresh ocean breeze on exactly this part of your forehead. And people who don't have male pattern baldness, I think, often miss out on that. So I'm like counting myself as one among the blessed. All right. Careful on the beer. Yes, if you are starting college, it is great to have a fun time. Don't feel too terrible if you notice that you're gaining a little bit of weight, but maybe keep an eye on it. Maybe keep an eye on it. Warren Cleat, start of our second turn, gained 14 block. Sick, sweet, awesome. I like it. Finally gonna be bald soon, you never enjoyed the hair washing stuff. Hair's rough. Can be quite uncomfortable. I think... I wonder what percentage of the time I spend showering is spent washing my hair. It must be some, like, ridiculously high percentage. It's not 50%, but it's definitely, like, more than 20%, right? I thought about upgrading all cards. Was Clasp nerfed? Yeah, it used to be two for each, and now it's only one for each. As a girl, it's more like 50 to 60, yeah. Yeah, if you have long hair, like that's a uh, that's a commitment. One does not just like decide to have long hair because they want to or whatever. It's like you need a support team and a long-term strategy. I get that. I get that. Hey, Frederick, TwitchCon was a ton of fun. All right, let's get out of here. You enjoy helping your significant other with her hair. It's nice. Some enjoyable couples time. So we hold on to the shivs so that they block for us. Boom. That's like a 17 head right there. Shiv is a block card. Is that on the like graphic from Discord? Shiv is a block card? It is, apparently. Worse than me. I'm glad to be back to what do I think of the latest patch changes. I don't know what they are. I don't read things anymore. I I reached the age where I decided that I knew everything. It happens a lot to like teenagers, but then there's like a second time in everyone's lives where it happens again. And I'm pretty sure that this time I'm right. Like, for real. And so, yeah, I don't really feel the need to read patch notes anymore. We'll be fine. 
Why does stuff like Ashes deal damage to all enemies while Tingsha only deals damage to one enemy? So that you can hear the sound from Tingsha more. If hit it everything, um, you wouldn't get the sound as many times. It's just utilitarianism if you think about it. It's the ethical decision from the game development team. Is the ding louder if you discard more cards? I think they fixed it to some extent at least, but I'm pretty sure that it used to be that it just played the same sound once for every single card you discarded. And so if you discard one, it was like loud and irritating. And if you discard 10 at the same time, you die. And they had to fix it because a lot of people did die. And yeah, that was one of the roughest moments probably in development of this game. Chef Steven, thanks for the six months. Hong Bomo show to you as well. Right now there's a team fight tactic feel to watch your things. Interesting. I don't entirely know what that means, but it's interesting that you're using team fight tactics to presumably describe something bad about it. Homemade meat, thanks for the ten months. Hong Bomo show to you as well. I'm not sure that we can just malaise Giant Head and win the fight just by malaising Giant Head. Should we try, though? The thing is, we don't have 70 energy, do we? We have 6 energy, which is, like, almost that much. We'll try. Ice and fire. Looking for Caltrops and Noxious Fiends at the moment. Let's draw more malaise. We can get more out of Codex. We're gonna need quite a few, but like it can happen. It's not impossible. Curse of the Bell. Gifty like because it's changing too fast to learn how to play it. I gotcha. I hear that. Yeah, you might be onto something there, I don't know. The Skyving Scholar, thanks for the sub. Hogbomo show to you as well. Alright. The Infinite Blades means I probably stop getting Heart of War energy now. You would think so, anyway. Unless I just don't play the Shivs ever. Hmm. Hmm. Do I know Xeno Knots? Um, I haven't played Xeno Knots myself, but I know what Xeno Knots is. Yeah. Xeno Knots always seemed like a less inspiring version of the 1994 game with like very few redeeming qualities to me. <sighs> it sounded so like miserable. Uh, I don't know. Xenonauts just never appealed, I guess. Never grabbed my attention. You're listening to me with the game audio muted. Are the dings really loud? How can you be listening to me with the game audio muted? Are you like a wizard? I don't think you can do that. Oh, are you just like 
deaf now, so you can't hear them, maybe? Can you hear me talking? Have I tried Oxygen Not Included? I have not played Oxygen Not Included either. So I need seven cards in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Curious. Now I can play a card and get a block from it, or not play a card and get a block for it. Exciting world we live in. It's all coming together. My brain just shut off for like about five minutes while I killed Giant Head. I'm gonna try to tune back in with you all now. How's everybody doing? Hey Dexter, how are you? Hope the end of your TwitchCon was great. Dexter's a Hearthstone streamer on F2K. Had some beers at the con. I recommend checking out his stream. Do I yearn for more games like Oberdin? Oh yeah, Oberdin was a really, really, really fun time. Will there ever be a game that's like really like Oberdin though? I don't know. Oberdin was like pretty special. Eternal Feather. Unfortunately, we got to take the Sapphire key. I guess we're at pretty decent health at the moment anyway. I'm going to recall because like resting doesn't do anything and none of the upgrades are very exciting right now. Maybe we can buy something that we actually want to upgrade or find something here that we actually want to upgrade. The sadistic nature comes pre-upgraded all the way to four. Four damage. Uh, yay. He got Emperor Rage. You guess that I shouldn't have taken chest. Eh? The sound-based game was pretty neat. Yeah, it was fun. What was that one called? Uber Din is like a really fun black and white pixel art game where you walk around a boat trying to solve what happened to all of the people on um, like a shipwreck. Apparently I got 25 hours out of it. That seems like more than I actually got. I must have left it open. The other one was called Unheard, yeah? Which is like a similar thing where you're trying to solve crimes and all you get is sound from the different rooms at the crime scene. You have to like walk around the different rooms and hear the sounds and put them all together. Both super fun games. Statistic Nature is pretty good with Fringiums. It's like... Almost a combust. Trying really hard to be a combust. Enlightenment. I don't really have a bunch of cards that cost more than one, unfortunately. This might have been a whiff. Panic button's okay. I guess I have two malazes. With two malazes we actually can beat Awakened One and we don't need Shackles, probably. And maybe we can take Sadistic Nature since we can beat Awakened One and don't really need Shackles. And then we deal damage whenever we debuff things. So we deal approximately four damage per turn with that. Which is like, I mean, that's like 30 damage against the heart or something. That's not terrible. It's also not 800 damage against the heart, but yeah. Let's try it. This other stuff doesn't seem great. I think I will just pass on Panic Button. <laughs> I'm not sure, Zatenny. 
The Captain's Wheel. Oh, they're all boat themed. Uh, uh, I finally, finally got it. After years of wondering why those were called what they were. Like the boat, the boat relic cycle. Super Steve, thanks for the four months. I'm going to show to you as well. Isn't Shuriken sick? We have Sadistic Nature, Noxious Fumes, Caltrops as our primary sources of damage. I don't believe Shuriken makes those deal more damage. Could buy another Sadistic Nature. I think I'm just going to pass on this start. I should be able to beat the Act 3 bosses, and maybe we can buy something at the next store or the store in Act 4. I don't feel like I'm desperate for improvements to the deck right now. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to play this rather than hold on to it, even though I could have held on to it and fully blocked. we get why the relics give block? No, I have no idea. Actually impossible to say, I believe. So I can Wraith Farm or I can take a billion. All right. The problem with Wraith Worm is now I have to win the fight somewhat soon, and Reptomancer has very noticeably not taken very much damage yet. I have to see how that goes. No GH kill. Isn't this elite unreasonably hard? This elite tests for something that's a little bit unique. It tests for like fast area of effect damage. If you don't have fast area of, of effect damage, that means that she feels very hard to kill. But if you do, yeah. Not such a big deal. We all know that pen nibs are great at hurting people. That's true. As a pen nib myself, and confirm. You see Sadistic Nature deal the extra 8 damage there. Pretty huge. How are the Spires in San Diego? Not bad at all. It was a good little trip. Concentrate, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. He's gonna die pretty soon, and we're just sort of hoping that we don't get killed before then. Seems good. Corpse explosion makes this blow up, and then she dies. We took what? No damage? Approximately no damage? 
Could use the energy potion in that fight though. This is tough. I don't know if this is footwork or deadly poison. I think it might be deadly poison over footwork. damage that badly. Well, Deadly Poison's a hell of a lot better at dealing damage than Sadistic Nature. <laughs> this one's a good damage card. Thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the correction on the typo there, Bounty Giver. Sadistic Nature dealt 24 damage to Remptomancer. Incredible. For zero energy, I will point out. And over the course of only 72 turns, at a rate of a third of a damage every turn. Lamb, thanks for the nine months Ogbom will show to you as well. I was exaggerating. The fight probably lasted, what, like eight turns or something? It wasn't that long. Nine, maybe. Sadistic nature is okay. It's very slow and it wishes it could be noxious fumes. That's my basic opinion of the card. At least in a silent deck. I don't know. We have decent block and not enough damage. The only thing is, maybe against Time Eater, Footwork's better. Footwork's a pretty good Time Eater killer. Also, it's weird. Like, against the Heart, we actually have Keltrops Plus, and that is quite a lot of damage. Against the Heart, it feels like we might be in better shape than we are against the Act 4 Elites, which seem like maybe the scariest part of this run at the moment. We also have Tori against the heart. We're probably pretty good against the heart. I guess the Act 4 Elites, probably Deadly Poison's better. I'll go Deadly Poison. Uh... Sure. Okay, so we now definitely are able to beat the heart. Radishin. Sorry to hear you had a bad week. Doesn't almost every damage card in Defect's arsenal wish to be in Noxious Fumes? Do you mean Silence? Damage cards in Defect's arsenal are like, Woo, we're killer robots! Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, we're sweet! That's generally what they do. Gun noises. Video is now demonetized, unfortunately. Oh well. Guess I won't be taking damage, actually, it turns out. Every streamer you watch was gone. That sucks. I get that. I suppose... There is, like, Twitter. And keep up with me there when I'm gone. But I know it's not the same. Possible to buy everything from a shop. Yep. It's not really if you plan your run around it, it's just you need to get a lot of gold and a membership card, basically. Which is not something that really happens because you planned it, it's just something that happens accidentally sometimes. 
Cloak clasp is clasping. We noticed that Thread and Needle was a good relic, so we made one that's like three or four times as good. Have fun. Yeah, Cloak clasp is certainly a thing. It's not three or four times as good. It is... <laughs> It is somewhat better than Thread and Needle, though, and Thread and Needle is... sort of the quintessential broken relic in this game. doesn't need to be balanced if it's interesting. Oh, we don't have to balance anything. That's fine. Just, you know. Put whatever in the game. It's fine with me. Damage, though. Look at sadistic nature. It's killing everything. I'm gonna play Grand Finale. I skip. Oh, it even glows for you when you can play it now. I feel... I, ugh, as somebody who has personally not played Grand Finale when I could play it multiple times because I didn't realize there were no cards in my draw pile, I feel like this is, like... This is concerning for me. The game is going down a troubling path. What about the play skill required in remembering that you can play Grand Finale if there are no cards in your draw pile. We did get Awakened one. So the deck has a lot of powers in it, which are obviously not the thing that you're excited to have against Awakened One. It also has a bunch of malaises, though. And we do like malaise in this fight. Okay, Black Oin. Have a gremlin horn? I have no idea. Absolutely none. Sweet. That's rad. Alright, let's uh, do this. So this, take a tiny bit of damage, but that should be the fight one. Awakened one's not gonna get any stronger than not strong at this point. Game's too easy now. I have not yet felt bored of the game because of it being easy, but I do feel like it's gotten easier. I'm sort of keeping an eye out for that. I hope that it doesn't get easy to a point that I find it boring. When I was bored of Ascension 15, I had like a 93% win rate or something at Ascension 15. And that was just way too much. 
But I'm not particularly close to that at Ascension 20 here. Intangible nerf was reverted, I believe, Crimson Blur. I believe that was introduced and then reverted again without me ever getting a chance to play with it. Just over the over the weekend. How has the game gotten easier? A bunch of strong relics added. The boss relic pool has been made better. The common, uncommon, and rare relic pools have been made better as well. Ceramic fish was added. That's, yep, true as well. My recent rune rate on Ascension 20. I don't know. Exclamation mark data would tell you that. Oh, we're still in phase one. Wow. <laughs> Wayne, this thinks the eight months of the, the Alejandro thinks the five months of the on the Mo show to you both. Appreciate you both. The Chinese community was enraged over the intangible there. Really? Okay. Sure. I never got to play with it. I feel like it... I feel like... Okay. I think that intangible is way too strong. Definitely. But I feel like making it so intangible applies to some things and doesn't apply to other things might have just made it, like, still way too strong, but also confusing. And I never got to play with it, so I don't know if that's true or not, but looking at the way it was nerfed, I just, like, it seemed sort of weird to me. It seemed like my brain wouldn't understand it very well. Best beer any thanks for the 28 months. Ankabomu show to you as well. Once more OP intangible or divinity. Intangible. By a long way. Intangible was for a little while only making it so that attack damage was reduced to one, but other types of damage you took weren't reduced in that way. This feels like a big change that makes it less intuitive. I don't know. WBA Jack! Thank you very much for the 26 months, Ogbomo show to you as well. Oh, we're done. We're done with Act 3. It's Act 4 time. This deck does not spend a very large amount of time commanding one's attention. <laughs> you just, yeah. I don't know if there's like a polite way to put that. This deck like plays three cards and then presses end turn until it wins, so you know. Fifteen times five is seventy-five. So the third Caltrops would actually max out our damage against the heart. The turns where it did anything. I think I might prefer just having an energy potion. At some point. You have a lot of cal drops in your deck. What would be affected a lot by that nerf? The intangible nerf? I mean, like, the beat of death seems like the big one to me. The beat of death wouldn't only be hitting you for one anymore. Burns do stuff. Curses do stuff. Some of the ironclad stuff, like hemokinesis and offering, makes you lose life. I don't know. I don't have a list for you, I guess, but those are the ones that are at the top of my brain when I think about it. Thorns, yeah, the like hallway fights with spikers. Mandena! 
I talked to some devs at TwitchCon who had some games that looked interesting, but I'm not a person who gets excited for upcoming games, really. I uh, play games, and if I like them, I like them. And if I don't, I don't. Energy Potion or Caltrops. I think those are definitely the two strongest options here. Energy Potion lets us malaise for two more in the Act 4 Hall, or Elite Fight rather. That's probably what it ends up getting used for. I wonder if Weak Potion's actually better just to get through an Artifact Charge. That's what the Vulnerable Potion will do, so this clears an Artifact Charge for us. Wish I could buy both potions. If I could buy both of these, that'd be way better than Caltrops for sure. So I'm between Caltrops, Weak Potion, and Energy Potion right now. Weak Potion also deals four damage. Not if it clears an artifact charge. It wouldn't debuff. A few years ago, I was a person who got excited for games. What happened? Was I? Was I a person who got excited for games? What games did I get excited for? Alright chat, the sadistic nature memeing has gone on long enough. Uh, this one looks okay. Now what? Presumably we're killing the Spire Spear first in this fight. This one looks fine, this one looks fine. We're gonna Leg Sweep next turn after Fumes clears the artifact charges. That seems fine too. There's no downside in particular to playing Strike since I'm getting Tori on the first hit anyway, so let's just do that, but keep these in case we want um, extra block next turn. Piercing Whale's a nice one to have. Is my mic saturating a bit? I don't know. Maybe. I don't hear myself talking through my microphone as I talk. Looks like it's okay. The chances that my microphone is like perfect in every way are about zero. Just really hard to have sound quality that good, unfortunately. But I think it's like pretty good at the moment. <laughs> hey, Brick Doll. No block cards. Is that correct? Zero block cards. I could just play Wraith form. Seems completely fine. I also just end turn and I take like one, right? Cloud. I don't remember what was going on when I made the decision about Crippling Cloud or not. 
presumably because I thought that I could spend energy in a better way though, would be the obvious answer. through Pori there. Fight looks over. Good fight. This deck does okay against the heart. Saturates when I'm talking very close to it. Oh, wait. If you say so. Does it really? I'm not sure that it does. Bottle backstab. I'll do it. Should have bottled uh, neutralize right. <laughs> very, very clearly. Oh, it's okay though. We drew uh, malaise. Strike might be better than nothing. Why? Why would we want to strike in our opening hand? That doesn't make any sense to me. We neutralize here, maybe? I want to draw five cards. I want to get Caltrops in play. It's not there on the second turn. Why wouldn't it be there on the second turn? There are so many things I'm confused by in what you're saying right now. Expected win rate with early paper clean and cloak clasp ought to be. Like, should be? Like, what the devs should make it, or what it is if you play well given the current calibration of the game? I think it's pretty high right now. How does Silent even lose? Silent seems so strong. You probably lose to like act two hallway fights sometimes. Swift strike ends up costing an energy, basically. Yeah. Hey, terrestrial guy! love to play Caltrops. What am I getting attacked for right now? It's 4 times 15. So if I malazed for 3, it would round down to 0. Let's play the other Caltrops. I guess I could have played Escape Plan and tried to hit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Invisa Turtle. Yeah, this looks okay. So you got Wraith Farm next turn, and then we win, presumably. I didn't do all the math, but it seems like it. Exclamation mark data. The Maestoso will tell you stuff like that. Sort of close. Wraith Farm's got us, though. We killed it very slowly. More slowly than I was expecting. Imagine if the AI knew that I had this many malazes and caldrops and just never multi attacked. What if it just like killed itself before I arrived? Actually, I played a game where they had enough enough like fight evaluation logic in the game that the AI would surrender if you were beating it by a large amount. But it ended up being really awkward because I was playing the game on the lowest difficulty just to like learn what was going on in it. I only had like 30 minutes that I really wanted to spend on the game, so I was just like speeding through it, trying to see what a thing looked like. And then I didn't get to play any of the fights, because all the enemies would just like kill themselves. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. Tech No Logomancer. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I'll go and show to you as well. There's information about data in the data thing if you read it there, Shorty. All right. Uh, mystery machine. Interesting. <laughs> 